So I'm doing an update on my shed here. I just got the door. I'm working on the door and I uh, decided I'm gonna go with a sliding door. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I got going on here. I've got it, uh, I got three quarter inch plywood and this is an old shelter logic that I put tin on. And in the back, if you haven't seen this already, it smells like piss back here. I've got uh, four, some four by fours that I've strung along here and just screwed the tin to that. Nothing structural here. It has a ton of strength from essentially the sheathing of the tin. And then I wasn't sure what to do with the front. I thought about putting the plywood over this and I thought about maybe framing the inside and recessing the plywood. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna take the door off. Well, let's see if I can do that now. So I had just have the door temporary. It's got like a sliding mechanism. It's just some scrap plywood. Just so that people can't see, and I'm not really worried about people coming in here, but. Okay, so I have these L plates here. And these are what I've used to fasten the plywood to the tubing. And I just took some small self tappers and went along and centered them in here. And now the three quarter inch plywood is able to sit, sit relatively flush there. And then I think I'm just going to do some big, uh, I don't know what you call that essentially, just some flashing that comes all the way over. Maybe we'll go eight inches or six inches back. And then, man, I don't know, that's not that's not gonna really work either since there's a ton of cutting here. I might do that, I'm not really sure yet. I have some flashing that I can tuck in behind here. And then I still have to do a fair bit of cuts to get around these stupid curves. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do there yet. I might just seal it if I can't figure anything out, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. Anyways, I just have these small screws in here on the back. Yeah, nothing structural. This is just how gonna have to support the door. And it's three quarter inch plywood. It's got more than enough strength in itself. Might have a few issues in the winter with some of these sidewalk blocks heaving, but I'm not too worried about it for a fucking shed. Uh, I got the bike in here right now. I made this door wide enough so that the widest thing that I'll need to be getting in here is my wave runner. And I can show you my patio that I, or my side, my, this is my work area here for my cars. And uh, I've done a few things here with this pad. I've raised it. And then I just put a little ramp here so I can get my bikes in and out easily. And also, with this eight inch drop, I can run blocks out with bores over. And now you, they say you don't wanna run vehicles over top of uh, cinder blocks, but these are concrete heavyweights. And you put them in the upright position and they have more than enough strength to support a car. Plus you throw a plank over them and they're fine. So I can run, uh, actually to get all the way up to the door to get my truck in here I have to run three and a half blocks I believe and then that's why I'm putting the sliding door in here so that I can still get in and out with my tools I can close the gate with my truck in here and be able to get underneath to pull the transmission is the first thing that I'm going to have to do uh, but I'll be under the, my vehicles quite a bit and this kind of works out nicely for me it's cheap cheap easy way to get under vehicles But this is my temporary door, and I mean, that's, that's about all I got.